friends, it's Bernadine coming to you today. Today's Thursday, March the 28th. I'm in West Texas, my little corner of the world where it's dry, dusty, and windy most of the time. So, welcome. Uh, despite the weather, I love it here. The weather, not, not the best, but it's a great little town. It's a great community. Uh, I have a great church here. And I'm fairly new on YouTube, so I invite you, if you like my content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. I love the comments. I really do. And I love getting to know all of y'all. And welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're new, welcome to you as well. So let's get started. I have some things I want to chat with you about today. Uh, I have... Uh, uh, I'm working on, I'm at the tail end of this uh, granny square blanket for my oldest son. And what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a border around it. I have already uh, put on uh, half double crochets all the way around it. And now I'm going back with single crochets. My yarn I'm using for this is the Schitt's Creek. And... It is a four weight yarn. It recommends a five uh, millimeter knitting needle or a five millimeter crochet hook, and I'm using a six on it. And it's just an average, it's an average four. It's not real thick, it's not real thin. I don't know why you would need a five, but I guess they know. But I'm using a six today. Today, my hook of the day is. Boy, this thing is worn. It's a six millimeter uh, full metal or all metal aluminum polished burls crochet hook. And I probably said all those words backwards, but that's what it is. I love the way these hooks are made. I love the head. It grabs my yarn. It doesn't seem to split my yarn. It's got somewhat of a point on it. Uh, not real pointy, but enough for me. And... That's what I'm using today. I have all kinds of hooks, friends, and I, I've showcased some of them on here for you. And I'm still loving my dots hooks that I would, I, I, that's my latest acquirement. Uh, I got those a few, a week ago, a few weeks ago. They're great, but today we're going with the J or the six millimeter all metal furls crochet hook, okay? And so I want to chat with you guys, so Chit chat, patty whack, grab yourself a project, <laughs> maybe a snack, a drink for sure. Come on, I got me some coffee going on. Come on in. This is my second cup of coffee. I've been MIA for a while. It's been a very busy week. So let me turn you down and let's crochet and chit chat, patty whack, okay? Okay, so what I am doing now is I'm just putting single crochets over, let me turn that a little bit, over the half double crochets that I've already put on there. So let me put y'all's heads up just a little bit because I've got to scoot back. I can't be leaning up like that and crocheting, okay? That doesn't work for me. Let me pull y'all up. Now, so... What's been going on, before I tell you what's been going on with me, I want to ask you what's been going on in your world, wherever you are, and whenever you are watching this, I just wonder what's going on, what your latest makes, what are you uh, planning, do you have any uh, projects that, you're, that are in the works, and if so, share them. Uh, I'm sure everyone else would love to hear about them. Uh, How the Hook Turns has a Facebook page. And if you want to post pictures over there for the group to uh, see, you can certainly do that. I haven't been over there this week. That's what I want to talk to you about. Boy, I've been busy. Every day this week, except today, there's been some medical appointment going up. Not that anybody's ill or nothing like that. It's just Monday, uh, we had the appointment with uh, my husband's pain doctor in Lubbock. 
that was difficult. We had to be there at 745, and we lived 45 or 50 minutes away, so early rise for us, these two older people. So he went, and I'm going to insert some pictures of our trip and maybe some video footage. I think I have a little video footage from Hobby Lobby I'm going to insert. This may turn out to be a long video, friends. I hope not. I try to keep them fairly short. Uh, but I'm going to try to put it all in one video. And if it doesn't work, I guess I'll break it up. But I'll know when I start editing it how long it is and what's going on. But anyway, he, he was having shoulder pain. Both shoulders. I thought we were going for his back pain. But uh, apparently, apparently we were going for his shoulder pain. I got to cl clip off a little hang hang piece of hanging skin right there. Fingers are much better, friends. Anyway, I'll get back to that in a minute. So, uh, let me clip this off. But anyway, I didn't know his shoulders were hurting, friends. But I guess they were. Because he told her his back was fine. It was his shoulders. So, she examined his shoulders and decided he has bursitis. Uh, worse in his right than his left. So, she took him back in her uh, procedure room, I guess, and did a uh, ultrasound guided uh, steroid injection in his bursa of his right shoulder. And he seems to think that has helped him. So good for him. So I've got some pictures uh, coming up of him in the exam room and just the, the clinic where we were at. And I'll put those in here too, just so you'll see where we were Monday and I did go by Hobby Lobby and I got some uh, thread to uh, make my doll dresses with my Barbie dresses so I'm excited about that and I will be showing that on my next video but on this video I just wanted to talk to you a little bit crochet and chat and I'll do some show and tells here next time but, uh, so that's what happened Monday. Tuesday, you know, I told you I went to that pulmonologist last week. And she's looking at my lungs to figure out why my oxygen keeps dropping. And my lung function tests were average or above. So, I had a CAT scan, uh, Tuesday. And I had some blood drawn because... My primary doctor here wants to see if my vitamin D levels are back to normal. They were super high. I was getting dizzy, and I told the doctor, and she checked everything, and my vitamin D3 was too high. So she said that can cause those symptoms, to quit taking it, wait a month, and restart it at a lower dose. But before I started at a lower dose, I have to get my levels checked. So while I was at the hospital for the CAT scan, and that was easy peasy, no contrast, no IV, nothing like that. Very quick and very easy. Uh, anyway, when I finished with the CAT scan, I went to the lab and got my blood drawn. So I'm waiting on a call from the pulmonary doctor and my primary care doctor and nobody has contacted me yet well I mean it takes time I guess to get all that bread and sent to where it goes blah 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 there I go again <laughs> you know just stuff uh, I'm at the end of my my yarn skein here and I'm kind of having does that ever do that in, on you when you get down to the end? It tries to tangle up. Yeah, I, I'm finishing up one skein. So there's a whole skein of this black yarn in this blanket. And this thing is 372 yards. So that's just for the trim and the edging. A whole skein in here. And I'm going to have to go into my second skein of this black. Uh, yeah to finish it. But that's okay. I have a lot of it. 
This is that yarn I got on sale from Line Brand when they were having a steal of a deal, uh, as Juan says, for six gains. For, if you bought six of them, you got them for $2 a piece. So I bought six of every of every color of four colors that I wanted. So I still have five of those left, even though I used one in here. And that's what I bought it for is to use, right? Yeah. Not just to look at, but to put to use. And I can't think of a better place to put it to use than my son's afghan. This is not a bedspread. As I figured it, it comes out to 61 by 70. So, he's 6'3", okay? He's a tall guy. I'm 5'5", five five, but I had me a 6'3 kid. Now, the youngest one is, I think, 6 foot. But Todd is the bigger one, the taller one. My ex-husband had a uh, real tall family family members uh, in his ancestry, his uncles and whatnot, great-grandpas. So I guess that's where Todd got it at. He didn't get it from my side of the family. My mother was 4'11", okay? My daddy was 5'8". So <laughs> well, I didn't come from great big tall people. Uh, where's my coffee? I need a drink. Thank you, friends, for hanging on while I had a few sips of that. So, and after we got finished with his doctor visit early in the morning, we went to a HEB grocery store, and we went to Costco, and we came home. We didn't want to leave those puppies too long. Oh, my friends, they're getting so cute, okay? They're getting so friendly. I've started them on uh, some, uh, I take her high-protein dog food, and I, I know they make puppy food, but they're still nursing, so they're getting plenty of whatever they need. And I put a uh, real warm water in it and put it in my Ninja blender, and I mash it up to mush and they get that twice a day they get some of that twice a day yes they're still nursing real well mama dog does feed them regularly and I'm feeding her extra so all is well on the dog front here cute 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 I don't see how I can get rid of them now I mean I'm just getting so attached to those pups I can't keep five large dogs, though, friends. I already had the mama, which she's big. But I'm afraid somebody won't take care of them. Mainly, that's my fear. Nobody's going to take care of them like I will. But yes, they have to go. They have to go and find good homes. I don't care about the, the money part of it. I'm not trying to sell the puppies. I just want them to have a good home. That's my focus. You think I can find good homes for four puppies? I don't know. I don't know. No, I haven't tried looking for homes yet. My neighbor said she might want one of them, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So, I'm not counting on anything. There. But they are so sweet. How anybody could be mystery to animal, I have no idea. Absolutely. I can't stand the thought of that. As I've gotten older, my heart's gotten more tender. A few years ago, I could have gotten rid of them in a heartbeat. As a matter of fact, I did her first litter. They were outside pups, and I didn't really get attached to them. 
These, because of the weather and her time of delivery, they've been house been kept in the house for several reasons. The weather, the little things would have died outside, and the fact that I wanted to socialize them and I want them to love everybody and know love and give love and you know you have to you have to spend time with little puppies as they get older or they're they're going to be wild just like wild feral cats wow i'm getting down to the end of this end of my skein okay let me move on i could i could spend a lot of time talking about those puppies so monday that's what we did tuesday i had that cat scan at 11 a blood draw and i had to go take care of uh, the plumber that came here and worked on our house i just got his bill a week ago can you believe that for that faucet installation and all i was wondering are we getting a bill i mean i know we will and so, I didn't let it go. I got it, and the next week I went and paid it. So, that's good. I had all that money arranged well before it was due, but I kept waiting on the bill, because that's what they said they would do. And it's a good thing I had a paper bill, because when I went to settle up with the man, his computer system was down. And he said, if you hadn't had that paper bill i wouldn't have been able to even get into your account because he was on the phone with the computer man when i was there so i had the paper bill i took it and that's all it all worked out okay so that was tuesday yesterday i could have made a video yesterday morning but folks i've been so tired from all this running around I just wasn't into it. So yesterday I had the the appointment follow up with my dermatologist. And uh, I don't have to go back now for three months. Everything's looking good. My fingers are just about healed up. And when they completely get healed up, I can stop that medicine. And my feet are looking better. So I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. And... Uh, wean off that cream because she said it's a very strong steroid and to stop using it as soon as every bit of what I'm using it on has healed up so that's what I'll be doing stopping that Whew, excuse me so that's what has been going on at my house spring is trying to pop its head up Although this morning it was 29 degrees when I got up and the forecast is for highs in the upper 60s and another 29 degrees tonight. So our freezes are not over, but the trees are budding out and all that good stuff. So spring is here. It's just, we have some Usually after Easter, that's there is no more freezes. So that's my hope. So uh, that's all I know, really. So what I'm going to do, friends, is insert a voiceover on some of the, the clips you're about to see. So, my friends, uh, I'm taking you along. Uh, that was Monday at his doctor's office. This is a couple of shots in the waiting area and a glimpse of the exam room. Here's my silly man uh, sitting on the end of the table waving at the top of his head. <laughs> then we went on to Hobby Lobby, and here we are heading into Hobby Lobby. Actually, it was just me. It was just me heading to Hobby Lobby. He sat in the pickup. And uh, I took a look at some of the mercerized cotton that I'm going to make the Barbie dresses out of. And they had a big selection. Uh, I enjoyed looking. And uh, I looked just looked down some of the aisles. 
And I always want to look at uh, not only the yarn, but the notions. I like the notions. I like to look and see what they've got. So uh, right next to this yarn uh, were the notions. So I looked at some crochet hooks here. And there's some knitting needles there, some lighted hooks. Uh, I just like to look. I'm a big, big browser when I'm feel when I feel up to it. That is, and uh, I wanted to also look at uh, stitch markers and novelty things to do with the the yarn. And they had quite a few things there, and it was it was fun looking. As far as purchasing, I just got the yarn because that's what I came in there for. Actually, that's really all I needed, so uh, I was happy with that. So let's get back to my regular video, and thanks for going with me on Monday. That's all I know, really. So what I'm going to do, friends, is insert a voiceover on some of the, the clips you're about to see. And then I just have some photos that I'll be showing you. So that's all for me, folks. I'm trying to keep this not too not too long, okay? So I'll be back. I want to show you my thread I got from my Barbie dresses in my next video. And I don't know when that will be, probably tomorrow. But for now, I'm signing off. My little show is over here. I have more stuff, but I'm trying to keep this a little bit shorter today. So I love you. God loves you. Stay safe. Enjoy the springtime if it's in your area. And if not, hopefully it'll be there soon. And if you're on the other side of the world, wherever you are, wherever you are, I hope you're having either nice weather or you're staying nice and warm or nice and cool. Okay? Okay, my friends. I do love you. And it is a wrap. Okay? All right. Next time. Love you guys. Okay.